G'day guys, if you're like me and you've had a few due problems in the past and you've looked up how to uh, possibly eliminate that or what controllers you can use, well, here's the Prima Loose Lab Echo. So I hope you enjoy my video. Okay, so what's in the box? Well, one of the things that I do like about Prima Loose uh, Lab packaging is it's packaged actually really nicely. Um, so the first thing you get is your little uh, Prima Loose Lab Echo quality control um, paperwork, as well as a bit of a installation and a quick start guide. Um, once you've done that, there's a little uh, bit of protective cardboard and then you've got the echo itself now i am actually so shocked at how small this thing is um, so let's get it out and have a look so it's tiny absolutely tiny i thought it was actually going to be a lot larger than this but it's not um, it weighs in about 75 grams on the side there you got your three ports for um, your temperature sensors and on the other side, you've got your uh, USB type C connector with a little LED light, a couple of uh, mounting holes on the top, and you can also mount it on this hot shoe type bracket here. Now diving a little bit more into the box here, so we'll get rid of the cardboard and we'll open up the next layer. And inside, it comes with two temperature probes, so that's a bit of a bonus. You don't have to worry about buying any uh, any temperature probes there, providing you've got uh, two um, dew heater straps you plan on using. If you're using one, well then you only need to use one. Uh, and you've got your USB-C uh, power cable. So you may be asking what the little uh, Echo is actually for. Well, it's an environmental controlled computer, which means that it controls the uh, the dew heater strap and the power going into your dew heater strap, depending on the temperature and humidity levels, which are all monitors for you. So you don't have to worry about whether or not I need to turn the, uh, the dew heater on um, throughout the session or whether or not to have it on at all. The little Echo does it all for you. So what's the little Echo actually uh, compatible with? Well, it's compatible with the Eagle 2, 3 and 4 computer systems by Prima Loose Lab. And as long as they've got the uh, dew heater ports, you're perfectly fine. So uh, let's install it and see just how we use it. So here we have my Eagle 4 computer mounted on my Prima Loose Lab uh, dovetail plate. And before we uh, turn on the Eagle 4 computer and get it all powered up, we need to install the, uh, the little Echo. So I'm gonna install the little Echo on top of my uh, Eagle 4 for the demonstration purposes of this video, um, no doubt when the, uh, the twin rasses are all set up, it's going to probably be mounted slightly um, in a different position. But for this video, we'll set it up like this. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm just going to move my Eagle 4 computer out of the way. It didn't sound too good on the bench there, did it? And I'm going to get my two little grub screws that come with the, uh, the um, Echo computer system. And I'm just going to get my Allen key here and just install the two grub screws in the two holes um, of my little plate there. Now, be sure that you do it in this section here of the, of the computer here, because that's what's going to sort of lock it all uh, into place. So once your uh, grub screws are all in, um, the next thing we're going to do is install the little unit on top of the uh, the Eagle 4 computer. So I will go this way and just lock it in like so. Now this little black bracket here, this little shoe that you see, does not come with the, uh, the unit. So you've either got to buy one of them separately or if you've got one spare laying around like I do, um, then you've got, uh, you can use that. You can also use the two holes in the top if you want to actually mount it um, upside down to uh, your plate or something, something like that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is get our USB-C 
cable here, which is an absolute mess. Um, and they are quite long, you know. Uh, I probably wouldn't use one this long. Um, I'd probably use a, a much smaller one. But we plug that into the computer like so. And then the other end into a USB port on your Eagle computer. Just like so, pretty simple. Okay, so we're all powered up, I'm ready to go. I am Wi-Fi connected to my uh, Eagle manager through my iPad using the remote desktop functionality. And we can see that my little Echo is uh, blinking red, meaning that it's uh, we've got power to it. So let's jump onto the uh, the Eagle manager and let's have a look at it. So when we're looking at the uh, the Eagle manager, obviously my GPS isn't uh, connected at the moment, so um, that's why that's all blank. But we see a, a gray box which says Echo. And what we wanna do is we wanna click on that Echo and it should start to search for the Echo and um, activate it. And there we go. Now, the first thing we gotta do is well, we've got to plug our temperature probe into it and we'll plug that into port number five but one of the things we've got to do is calibrate our uh, our uh, temperature probe so to do that we're going to go into our advanced settings and we're going to go up to the top right hand corner where it says echo settings and we're going to hit calibrate and that's going to go through the process of calibrating our temperature sensor hit ok and then ok and we'll go back and now our temperature sensor also matches what the echo is rece uh, receiving right now is 23.2 degrees. Now the placement of your temperature probe is actually quite important. For everything to work correctly, the temperature probe needs to be sitting underneath your dew heater strap. So what I mean by that, here we have a um, one of my small dew heaters. And you want to be sitting the temperature probe underneath, like so. Well guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, give me a big like, hit that subscribe button, and if you've got any questions, don't forget to ask a comment. Well, that's it for me for now, so until next time, take it easy. See yous.